Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to use LiveSplit with a game that has native support for it. So instead of having to poke at the RAM and load an auto splitter, what you're going to use is LiveSplit server, which will allow the game to communicate directly with LiveSplit and tell it when to do a start clock, a cat, a split, whatever you want. So basically you need to go to github.com slash LiveSplit slash LiveSplit server I'll leave the link in the description and then you go here to releases and you get the latest release so it's basically a zip file and once you have it downloaded it contains two DLLs you have to go to your live split installation find the components folder and just drag and drop those two DLLs I already have them installed but yeah basically that and that's it so then you can run live split and the only thing that you have to care about so in in the splits you don't have to add any auto splitter you don't really need that the only thing that you need to add is in the layout you have to make sure to add you go to add control live split server so you only need to worry about having that added to the layout. And then before starting the game, it's really important that you do it before starting the game, you go to right click, control, start server. So every step needs to be done only once. The only thing that you need to do every time you start live split is making sure that the server is started because then the game needs to be able to communicate with live splits to, to send uh, a, a starter split command, a split command, a pause, resume. Then, for example, in my game, once that's done, you just start the game and you really don't have to do anything. If you play the first level, it starts the clock, and then in this case, it is set for uh, real time tracking. So when you finish the level it will add a split and that's it the clock keeps going but if the integration is uh, more complex some games may offer you to set okay what type of run are you trying to do and maybe it uh, uses game time and can stop uh, for example it can pause here and then resume when you are playing another level or it can detect what level uh, you're at and actually start the clock for that uh, level so that depends on how uh, deep is the integration how much uh, time and effort the developer put on integrating it but even if it has a really basic integration like in this case my game it will work uh, without you having to do anything. It's a one-time installation of the server and it works for every game that has uh, native support for LiveSplit.